All right, so we got some uh, interesting new leaks. Um, some stuff I won't discuss, some probable future scenarios for banners to come, characters to be released. Uh, Seven Diaz leaks, which is very, um, ve very spot on a lot of the times, uh, has given us some new information on some characters that he thinks given um, maybe files and stuff that he knows of the of the, the leaks that he currently has could be upcoming characters. So there's an ELAT that's been leaked a long time from now already. Um, let me actually scroll down. December 2nd was when this ELAT was put in the files, uh, which he thought it was going to be a New Year unit. I mean, it could still be, but it wasn't. Um, so there's that. He pre presumes that it's going to come next. We're, I'm going to talk about what I think the release dates of these characters will be, if it's all correct. Uh, Scaddy from Ragnarok. I um, have no idea what Scaddy could be. Um, I, I actually have no clue. Um, I'm Googling Scaddy and I have zero idea. So, I think, but let me see the comments. Maybe someone has. Let's thank you. all the tags. <laughs> um, no. Okay. Um, and then, um, bloody Elizabeth light attribute. Keep in mind, leaks are not always correct, but they are a good indication. So, this would, uh, you know, assume that we are not getting a festival at the end of this month, which I actually think is correct. If we go back last year, we had Assault Meliodas December 30th, and we had Trader Meliodas on December 30th. So we're basically in the same track. And then now we just got Saurio, which the 7 ds Leaks page thought this, this unit's char uh, character, this week's character would be Elat, ended up being Saurio. So I'm saying, like, Elat's probably coming, but, you know, it's not 100% just coming from with files and stuff. Um, Saurio released this week. But if you go back last year, in this week we had Nanashi, which actually got delayed to the 20th. I don't remember why got delayed, but... It would have been this week. Um, and then two weeks from then, we got Valencia and Easton. And then two weeks later, we got Derriari. And then a week later, we got Denzo. And then we got a new festival. We went two months without a new festival. And, you know, we got a whole month of January. And basically, basically all of February up until the 25th um, with no festival. So I can see that being a thing again i can see we not we're not seeing a new festival until the end of february completely can see it uh, although i would think that it would be a holy war festival because this time around we haven't had a holy war festival in a while last holy war festival we had was in august because miliodas was not a holy war festival it was a new year festival so he wasn't considered either or neither a normal festival or a holy war festival um so the next one probably is going to be a holy war festival so the league suggests elizabeth but leagues have been very bad with festivals very very bad i am very skeptical of this liz leak it could be it genuinely could be but remember how we've been leaked that next and next and next festival will be asterosa guys next festival will be asterosa i swear it's gonna be these leaks for festivals sometimes are correct as we go back here this was like a few days before release right um and with a wrong attribute attribute blue wrong attribute um, but it was Meliodas, right? The leaked, the leaked character was correct, and the banner was correct as well. Um, so leaks of festivals can be correct, but for the, I don't say most part, but for a, a lot of it, a lot of festival leaks are incorrect. The infamous 
Fast of Westerosa that has been leaked since like last, like middle of last year, still hasn't come out. You remember the leaked Festival Excalibur Arthur? Excalibur Arthur, where is it? Excalibur Arthur was leaked as a festival just before he came out. And he came out as a regular banner unit that was support for Bon. Honestly, like I, I, what I think is gonna happen, right? So we got this new Sauriel, which is a support for four Archangels. I think we're getting a four Archangel character very soon. We might even get a new Tarmio. I think that's very much possible. One in the other body. Just like we got Sauriel in a different body, we might get Tarmio in a different body. We might have next week be this new Elat. Either next week or two weeks from now. Be this new Elat. Because if we go back here, right? We had Nanashi delayed a week. So we had Nanashi in the 20th. So there was only basically one week since Nanashi to Valenti. So they probably actually meant to release Valenti and Easton um, on the 20th or 21st. And then they actually, I don't know, they had some problem with Nanashi. I don't remember right now what it was. I think it was like an issue with uh, Korea not being able to update the game on iOS. I don't actually remember what the what the issue was, uh, but they had to delay it. So we might actually either get next week or two weeks from now this Elat, right? And a Ragnarok banner. I, I have, We haven't had a Ragnarok banner in a little while. Last Ragnarok banner was Merlin with Miguel. It's been since November. Uh, and they've been pushing Ragnarok, so I can really see this being um, a banner coming up next as well. Although, I would think they would release another character with it. I don't think it would be alone. Either, I mean, it's not out of the realm possibility we get an Elat plus uh, Ragnarok character banner. Because we had, um, we had, you know, what was the, the banner before? What was the banner before? Um, it was Brynhilder in the end. And then it was Miguel and Marilyn. Wasn't okay. I'm thinking. Have we had a, a Ragnarok banner without a like canonical Ragnarok character? I don't think so. So maybe Elite would not come with this Ragnarok character. But I think another character will come out with the Ragnarok character. We haven't had like a single Ragnarok unit. We have this leaked Gelfer cosmetic, which looks like he could be a Ragnarok character, like he could be a Ragnarok cosmetic. Canonically would make no sense because this Gelfer is not in Ragnarok yet. But I I, I, I don't know if they care, to be honest. <laughs> but we could see maybe uh, a new Gelfer from Ragnarok or a new different character, uh, whoever it would be, um, come out with this new Ragnarok unit. And then perhaps this new Elizabeth, but... I don't know, just, I, unless this Elizabeth is a, like, stupid good goddess support, right, uh, for a new Mael coming, I don't see, I don't see her being a main festival unit, like, I genuinely don't see it, like, it could happen, it, it could happen, it, it might happen, because they are stupid, like, Netmarble is genuinely stupid, do you remember who the first anniversary character was? The first anniversary! Had Goddess Liz as a festival, and legitimately every single person playing the game was like, what? So, they could release this Elizabeth as the first light character. Um, it would not be 1% of how cool it would be if it was Mael. So it could actually happen. <laughs> uh, but I, I... In my mind, if they don't release Mael as the first light character, they are missing such an incredibly huge opportunity. They're literally burning money. Like, if they don't release Mayo as a light tribute, that's the first light character, they are shooting themselves in the foot so hard that they might actually do it. <laughs> so, we might actually um, see this Elizabeth. We'll see. I don't... I don't know. After seeing the four Archangel, uh, uh, like, passive buff, I don't see... A possibility in which this is not meant for a four archangel character um, coming out soon. Like I don't, but I don't think a festival banner is gonna come out. Like I said, until the end of February. So 
if you are currently saving, I think you have time, you have a good amount of time, because they, they might release a banner at the end of this month, but I, I want to say they won't, or a festival banner this month, I, I want to say they won't, just because they didn't do it last year, but they could. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I, I, I mean, if Elizabeth comes out, I hope she's good. Uh, she's probably going to be support. Love support characters. Love support festivals. Um, but... Listen, if, listen, if there's any Neymar Boy employee watching, please don't miss this opportunity, please. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, past your, your upper people, like, you're, you're losing money. By not making Mile the first light character, you are losing money. And I'm losing views. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many less views if you release Liz as the light character. Let, let's let me help you help me, okay? All right. There are no heroes, guys. I, I I think of this as my benefit as well. All right. I think of this as their benefit as a company, as the player base benefit is hype, and my benefit as someone that needs to pay my rent. Anyways, um, good skips though, coming, so there's that.